To avoid dangerous climate change, the UK needs to reduce its emission of greenhouse gases to zero. We can reduce our emissions a lot, but we still can't get rid of all of the emissions from the industries that we rely on. So to compensate, we also need to actively remove greenhouse gases from the atmosphere. The Royal Society and the Royal Academy of Engineering have just published a report which describes the various ways that we can use to achieve that removal. Some of them seem like common sense. We can plant more trees, we can change farming practices to store more carbon in soils, or we can use more wood in our buildings. But there's only so much space for trees and for buildings, so we also need to explore other routes to removal of greenhouse gases if we're going to reach net zero. One of these is to use more biofuel in our power stations and capture the resulting CO2 and bury it underground in rocks. An alternative is to actively suck carbon out of the atmosphere for storage. It will be challenging and will need research and investment starting now, but if we combine all available approaches, the UK can reach net zero by 2050. If we do so, it maintains the UK's leading global position in tackling climate change and ensures that we play our part in stewarding the planet for future generations.